Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. To kick off 2013, we're going to speak with one of our newly elected officials. The residents of District 120 have chosen to send Holly Rashine to Tallahassee as our next state representative. Holly spent the past 10 years working as the top legislative assistant to the past two state representatives. So along with bringing experience to the table, she brings so much passion and enthusiasm. Holly, it's always a pleasure talking with you on the show. Thank mm -hmm. you for having me, Jenna. Good morning. Well, first of all, congratulations. Thank I haven't you. I able to Thank congratulate you. you. So how is everything going so far? Everything is going so well. I'm absolutely thrilled to be in my new position. We're staying busy. It's been very interesting uh, switching from assistant to the representative, but I, I couldn't be more pleased. And we're out in the community even more. And we've got a big year ahead of us. Mm -hmm. You absolutely do have a big year. And you have already been getting to work, Holly. You recently just hosted an open house and a town hall meeting. I did, I did. And right before Christmas, we actually had a town hall meeting in Marathon mm -hmm. where I got to touch base with constituents and community leaders <clears throat> and got to check in and see what were their priorities and share my priorities as well. And just last night in Key Largo at my new district office, we had an open house. Mm -hmm. And same thing there. People got to come and meet me who had never met me or, or I hadn't had the chance to meet them, uh, discuss certain issues that were going on in their neighborhood or with the state. And I got to uh, let them know that we were, were there to help them always. And they got to meet my staff. Mm -hmm. We also had uh, several community leaders come. We had our new clerk of courts, Amy Hevelin, come. Uh, Joyce Griffin, our new supervisor of elections, was there. So it was very nice to see some Key West ladies up there and, and taking the time to come visit. Okay. Holly, what all exactly does your job as state representative entail? Thank you for that question. And I do get that quite often and the state representative's role is very comprehensive anything that has to do with the state of Florida we have jurisdiction over so whether it be um, FWC the Florida uh, Wildlife Commission or the Department of Revenue who collects our state sales tax if you have an issue with state government you contact your state representative's office and they are kind of the liaison between the person and the state agency and if there's a you know, anything can be done. We're there to um, help the constituent out with whatever they may be, you know, whatever issue they may be facing. And I also oversee legislation that affects the state. So I can, I can myself sponsor six bills. Mm -hmm. And I've already been working on um, a couple bills. I've submitted to bill drafting and so on. But anything that a constituent finds issue with in the state, they, they would contact their state representative. Okay. Now, speaking of legislation, what is the legislation you plan on filing this season? I have already put into bill drafting the Florida Keys to Aqueduct Authority bill, and that, the, you know, the voters voted overwhelmingly, two to one, requesting that the board of directors be elected versus appointed. And so I have submitted that language to bill drafting, and we should have a working draft very soon. Another bill I've submitted regarding wastewater and the funding formula uh, right now, Key West is excluded, the city of Key West, and so my bill would include them in the classification and make them uh, able to get a piece, an allocation of the wastewater funding. And I'm looking forward to touching base with my Homestead constituents, my Southern Dade constituents at a town hall meeting this Thursday to see what legislation they may want me to sponsor. Okay. And now since we're here in the Keys, Holly, something that's so important down here is the fishing industry. How would you work to, or how do you want to work to promote the fishing industry? That's a wonderful question as well. And we all know without the fishing industry, the Keys wouldn't be the Keys. Mm -hmm. And I actually serve on the uh, Natural Resources and Agriculture Appropriations Committee, and that will oversee the FWC, the Florida Wildlife Commission. Um, I've touched base with several fishing industries, whether it be the charter boat captains, the commercial fishermen, the crab fishermen, and anything that I can do to promote their industry or to help them with burden, burdensome regulations, I'm going to be there. I think it's a, it's a vital industry to the Keys. It's a vital industry to the state of Florida, um, and they often get stepped on by different agencies and 
and like I said, the vitality of the fishing industry means that the, the, the Florida Keys will be vital. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And let's talk before we go today about your committee assignments, Holly. What are the main ones? I'm so excited by the committees that I've been assigned to. I, I often say that they're self-serving or they're district serving. Mm -hmm. They really, really focus a lot on issues that we face in the Keys. For example, I already mentioned natural resources and agriculture appropriations. That spans my district. We have agriculture in southern Miami-Dade County and we have natural resources in the Florida Keys. I'm also on military and veterans affairs, mm -hmm. which is very important. Who doesn't love our veterans? Who doesn't love our military? I'm so excited about that. I'm also on local government and federal affairs. So anything that would affect local governments or county um, issues, w we would oversee those and of course issues at the federal level. I'm also on transportation and highway safety. We have one road in the Keys right. and we have several issues mm -hmm. regarding the Department of Transportation. So I'm looking forward to promoting our community through that committee. And lastly, I'm on economic affairs and that is a rather large committee and oversees any kind of economic policy that's going to affect the state of Florida. Wow. And in these tough economic times, I think that is where I need to be. Mm -hmm. You have a full plate ahead of you. I do. But you will do a great job at Thank it, you. Holly. Thank you, Thank Jenna. Thank you for being on this morning. If you want to reach out to Holly, you can shoot her an email at the address that you see on the bottom of the screen. Holly, I look forward to having you back on soon. Thank you, mm -hmm. Jenna, so much. I'll be right back after these commercial break. Please stay with me.